Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account. Been making a lot more progression in the tower. Has been farming up the King's Tower itself. You can see guys, we gained probably about 25, 28 stages within the King's Tower, yielding us some additional diamonds. Now we know the Shining Horizon is up. That is right, the Awakened version of Leica. It's confirmed is up. We've seen a lot of, around that. So I've been saving my time emblems right now. We're at 306. Going through the event, we might have 400 plus, which is a very sweet spot to be guys. Roughly four to 500 for a lot of players. I know Summit does take a little bit more um, than that 500 to go ahead and get that hero, but we are right in the ballpark of where we want to be for uh, the Awakened version of Leica, which will be coming on Tuesday. Now, the patch notes, of course, will come up on Monday. Tuesday will be the drop for the actual hero, which means we'll be able to, to summon her up. Now, with that said, guys, I have the resources for the engraving. So we have the 30, we have the 60 engraving right there. Um, I'm going to do something that I've never done before, guys, and that is to engrave a hero. So I'm going to take Belinda up a little bit higher. Now, normally it is 6,000 to go from a 60 to an 80. Now, the big thing with 80, guys, is the PvP aspect. So in here, it is the um, Legends Championship Tournament but also the treasure scramble. Now that is the reason why I'm starting to build a couple of these heroes out. Now, again, my opinion is Belinda is probably one of the absolute strongest heroes in AFK arena. This is even gonna give me a little bit more stats. It's gonna give me the ability to do a little bit more damage in all the different game modes that we're still utilizing the hero. So rapid strength rate here, guys, it is gonna be 3,900 because I'm already at 67. I don't have to go the full way for the 6,000. That's gonna make a big difference, guys. And there it is. There is the E80 engraving, of course, that does give us the shiny stars right there, which if you'll notice, guys, there is not another hero that I have in AFK Arena that has those shiny stars, which is awesome. Even looking at the, the combat rating, um, she still comes in, um, what, third? Unfortunately, even with that E80 engraving, but again, running her within the treasure scramble is going to make a big difference because we do get a pretty good bonus in there or a pretty good bump, even going through the Heroes of Espria. Again, get a pretty good bump in there, but the first hero to have those shiny stars, guys, and why not make it the Awakened version of Belinda? Just got to add two more stars on there to really build her out and maximize her. I don't think, well, we have one. We already have one copy, so we could do a couple more in there. But again, with Leica coming, we're gonna save all of the resources for Leica. Now, with that being said, guys, in the Temple of Ascension, we also did get the final copy from the Nightmare Corridor of Frampton. That is right, guys. Frampton is built out in his entirety. Boom, there is our five-star Frampton. Finally, the last, I believe, four copies um, that I got from him was out of the Nightmare Corridor. So as we continue progression, we definitely wanted to absolutely build him out, guys and see where we can build them. So that gives us what, one, two, three. We have four built out there, even here. We have four as well. Event is coming up. We're getting another copy of Flora, which means we're gonna be able to recycle this copy and get another copy of another hero. So it might be adding another star, maybe even the original version of Taylene. If we use her again, we can max out at five stars. But that also means that when I use stones, so when I do use my elite stones or my summoning stones, they are not gonna yield us the five star heroes, that way you could do the exchange. Um, when you get a Celestial or a Hypogen up to five stars, you will no longer pull them out of this specific game mode. It is actually gonna be, um, you can't pull the, the additional copies when they're at five stars because essentially nothing you can do with them but the exchange. But two stones here, guys, we get Brutus and we do get, of course, I'm hoping Superb Elite, could it be a copy of the Awakened version of Belinda? Boom, it is Sophia. So unfortunately, that is a negative um, on that poll. I'm gonna save the rest of the resources in there. But overall, we are making a lot of progression in here, guys, as we continue through here, as we continue to build these heroes out. We also have to do some of our keys. Um, I've been buying the $1 pack for the Celestial Isle, so we can actually go in here. And the big reason is the baits, guys. I have been focusing and building on the baits and the poke coins for a considerable amount of time. Now, Celestial Isles, again, we've been going through here. And we've been doing the, the $1 purchase, which is out of the merchant ship with the daily deal. So we've been spending $1 to get the 10 extra keys. That's 10 extra draws, guys. That could be one island. That could be another island, which I'm going to have to get that set um, to pick up those extra keys. But let's go ahead and use these. Heroes of Esprit, we're still getting a lot of loot out of there. Treasure Scramble, right now we're on 95 again. Hopefully with the little bit of additional push there with the Awakened version of Belinda, um, we're going to be able to stay around 95 or a little bit better. 
All of the heroes that I'm running within the Treasure Scramble, I have actually built up a little bit higher, um, including, I again, we did some engraving on some other heroes, but we have quite a few mats. And I'm gonna do the same for the stall team for Flora. I do not recommend this by any means, guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop the engraving on here for the shielding, just the 30 engraving again, just for the simple fact that I am using her in the Treasure Scramble and I want to stay in the top 100 in the Treasure Scramble. So maybe that is gonna be um, the deciding factor of keeping us there. I will keep you updated on where we are in the treasure scramble with the, the final heroes we have because both of those heroes, Belinda and Flora, are in our treasure scramble teams in here. So again, hopefully we can make a little bit more progression in there. Now, Celestial Isles, like I was saying, um, out of here, I like the shards, but we can get the shards. Red chests are always gonna be used, but we're looking for the bait and we're looking for the poke coin. So I'm gonna skip the animation on here. We're gonna auto search and I always just do the auto search guys. I find that it does work. Floor one through nine, of course, we're just going to auto search whatever we do pull. If it's the first, if it's the second one, but this is farming a lot of stuff out of here guys. Even there, it was the very first one. Having the ability to go in here, utilize all these keys, um, get the loot floor after floor after floor is, is huge. And we're pulling these on the second floor guys, which is awesome to see. 258 um, keys left. I'm wondering how far we're gonna get. So here is number seven. In most of these, we are hitting the first floor. And I make sure that I put the reminder in there, guys, because I don't wanna skip a floor that I don't want to. That is why I, I don't just autofill the notice. This is floor nine. There we go. And now we are on floor 10. Floor 10 is the floor that you do want to get all of the treasure. So we want these, we want the engraving mats. Red chests, again, we get out regularly. I'm going for the Stargazer cards, guys. Now within this one, we are going to get all three of the of the loot. So there is one, got our Stargazer cards. Number two, just picked up our baits, which going a little bit deep there. Number three, we got our cores, which mean we're moving to the next floor. Again, we wanna make sure that we're getting all of the loot every 10th floor. Don't wanna be missing it, guys. And look at the luck we're having here. This is incredible. We're, most of them are going on the first floor. Some of them moving to the second one. And then of course, from these, we can get, we're picking up a lot of these ancient rune stones. The ancient rune stones, of course, going to translate into a lot more loot that we're gonna be picking up in here. So it is just continuing, guys. With the amount of events that we have going on, um, I, I know a lot of players have kind of talked about how much we do have going on in AFK Arena right now with all of the events, everything with Leica. But guys, even with the Heroes of Espria, it is a incredible, incredible amount of loot through the game mode. You wanna make sure that you're farming it and you wanna make sure you're farming it on a regular basis, guys, because the loot in there is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to the amount you get out of here. But boom, got some Stargazer cards right there. Go into the end in there, one and two, acquiring all three of them. I wanna do some beast summons right after this because again, we're picking up all of these baits. There we go, there's another 10 baits right there. I'm hoping we have two or 300 baits. I'm not sure how much we've kind of picked up. I am also buying the baits out of the shop. Again, really trying to drive the beasts up to that level 15, trying to get some of the beasts up to 18. Again, having a really, really big impact on the treasure scramble based on um, based on the heroes that we're building, based on the beast that we're building. Combination of everything. Gonna make a big difference. Even out of the event we have going on right now, I am gonna continue buying the beasts um, or the baits out of the last event. We did the exact same. We bought all of the baits out of the last event. I'm thinking, I wonder how close we can get, guys. If we can get closer to getting, and here's level 30 already, but if we can get closer to getting those beasts up to that 15, there's one, there we go. And number three for the bait, 47 keys still left. Here we go, some more red chest. And again, guys, 32 floors through. That's a significant amount of loot. Even looking at our poke coins and everything, that is a lot. Now, of course, we have to do this manually because we have less than 30 keys. A lot of players save the keys to the very end. Um, again, when you look at a lot of the content, guys, if you're saving everything until 
the very end, you could have plus 30 signature items on some heroes. Um, you could have, you know, your, your beast built up a little bit further. Make sure when you're farming the resources that you're just not saving everything because you're going to miss out. Essentially, it's it's a net negative to what you could have and what you could building out, be building out of here. We're coming down to our baits, we're going to maximize that. Exchange for 550 baits. All right, guys, let's do the summons in here and see what we pick up out of here. So harvesting ground, we have 1291. We have level 17 right here, guys. We need four more copies. This will be our last level 18 beast or our first level 18 beast um, since we don't have any more. And then, of course, we're trying to get the Flutter Plume Owl much higher, which we're going to do naturally, guys. On hopefully one or two... Boom, there is the Savage Souffle. Now, of course, we have the Savage Souffle in here. We have a couple other ones in here. There's the Owl. Um, because we want to stockpile, essentially, the copies we're getting there, which we could put in. You know what? I I'm going to change this up. I'm going to drop out Talisman. I'm going to put in the Seal. And I'm thinking the, the logic behind it is the copies that we're getting in here for the bonuses, we're using for the Seal anyways. There's a copy of the Seal. So we got one and we got a free one, which means we're three away from that level 18 pet. And then here we're a couple away from getting the level 14. And then of course the 15, everyone's gonna go to 15, but the seal is two essentially because of this one, guys, we are two away from building up the seal. So again, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna keep the seal in there. That is gonna be the focus. Once the seal hits 18, we're gonna do the same. Looking here, the other two that we are looking, the Fox, we didn't get, I don't believe any, or no, it was Savage Souffle. Savage Souffle, which we know we did get one, which we have one right there. And then I believe Talisman, we have three already. Again, these are gonna be credited back once we get this little guy up to 15. Um, the one on the Savage Souffle will be credited back and the three that we have here, so another four. Again, kind of messed that up a little bit. Um, based on the builds, based on the heroes that we had in here and building out those beasts. But we're going to get there, guys. We're absolutely going to get there. There's another copy of Sophia, which of course is just going to be recycled at this point. But a lot going on in AFK Arena, guys. I'm super stoked for Leica and how we're seeing her build. So, all right, guys. So that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.